Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Yoma and I'm a student from SETU. And my name is Azil. I'm a third year student as well here in SETU and I'm studying molecular biology. Today we're here to bring you some advice and some tips on how to navigate in education. So we kind of have a few questions we don't know ourselves and when we open it we're going to be giving you advice and topics in relation to these questions. So let's start with the first question, Azil. Yeah. So what's one of the first things students need to know when starting university? Oh, <laughs> this is challenging. But one of the most important things you need to know is that your timetable is so important. You know, when you get your timetable, it's important that you know exactly which class you need to go on the first day. The timetables may be confusing. There are different colors, different aspects, different format for different universities as well. And so it's important that you're knowing your own specific timetable and get to know it really well. And yeah. yourself? Well, I would say uh, whatever subject anyone is choosing, just make sure what's the scope of that is in the country or around the world. And just like how applicable that is in the society as well, I would say. Yeah. If you're actually looking to go into further depth in, say, in PhD and stuff, just make sure it's doable. And, yeah. Wow, that's deep. That's deep. You went there. You went there. Wow. No, but, no, that was so good because I myself, when I was a uh, first year, I had no idea what was going on. We had a tour of the, of the campus and I was yeah. like, okay, where is my first class? Yeah. And what am I doing here? You know? And so when you're starting, you know, I myself personally, I would say I would need more help in regards to saying, okay, what decision should I make on my first day? Or how should I get you know, the lunch and cafeteria. How should I get, you know, the posters yeah. <laughs> ready for the next day, you know? And so, but man, you went deep. <laughs> All right, let's go into question two. Okay, what is one of the biggest things students struggle with and what is your advice on this? Um, I would say just getting their sleep right, prioritizing their um, assignments, prioritizing themselves. Uh, for example, in my course, there's loads of assignments at, at the minute and it just gets worse uh, when you proceed in later years. Uh, even with that, you need to make sure that you make time for yourself. That's what I struggle with at the minute. And I've, I've known the difference on the days when I have time for myself and I know I'm more productive and then there are days which like I'm days basically just in pure pain. Yeah, I just have no time and I'm, I'm only working, but yeah. oh what about gosh. you though? Man, you, you just covered the whole thing I wanted yeah. to say, but um, assignments, yeah, it's just important that we build up on them and we're able to actually do them, do them straight away so we yeah. don't like, yeah. oh, I'm, I'm due seven assignments on the same day, yeah. it's so weird yeah. and like, you know, it's painful, like yeah. you said, as you progress in your yeah. years, so... When you said that, I love because it's never going to get better, yeah, it's only going yeah, to get worse. And like, the thing is, if you procrastinate at the start of the year, yeah. it's going to be your habit. And it would like, oh, it would kind of build up later on as well. Because mm -hmm. I wasn't, say, I was, if I wasn't able to do one assignment for a week, that assignment is going to be there again for the later week. And just because there was a delay in the previous one, mm -hmm. I'd be under pressure for the rest of the semester because I haven't been able to cope oh the horrors well, yeah so i would i would say myself as well keep up with your assignments yeah. just get them done make a previous make a due date before your due date yeah because yeah. that is so important that you get that done yeah. and out of the way so you can sleep yeah like you said you need yeah. sleep sleep is important <laughs> yeah want to move on to the next question then yeah yeah sure right What's one thing you wish you'd done differently as a student <laughs> i wished oh my gosh hmm one thing I wish I've done differently was probably to go out more. I know it's absolutely contradictory to what people usually do, but I'm a student who goes straight to the library, break time, to the library, every time, to the library. I eat in the library, sleep in the library. Even at one point, I was like, I wish they had beds in the library. Yeah. You just book a room to well, sleep. I, feel <laughs> I literally feel it, yeah. Right? Yeah. But, um, you know, one of the things I wish that I definitely did was to just go out and hang out with friends. I did in first year, you know, I hang yeah. out with you a bit, yeah. but... Then as we moved on the years, I was just like in my own cocoon, studying, yeah. trying to pass, get assignments done. Yeah, it's good to get assignments done, but it's also good to socialize, yeah. right? Yeah, like 
definitely like you have you have to know the balance like it's not like if you're if you're in the course which is hard you just have to spend all your time in the course like you have to have a life apart from that course as well a social life which again makes you more productive and kind of gets rid of the you know the mental pressure right. and all just basically all the stress in your head yeah. and yeah Basically, get a life, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> literally, quite literally. Like. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> All right, let's move to the next question. Yeah. Oh, okay. How would you describe the higher education learning program? Yeah, well, this is basically an online program, which is, and we are here to help students. And I know there are a good few students who have shared their own experience so far on different topics, like we have... Uh, we have a stall in the main building almost every week and we're talking about different types of topics which are specific and then there are students who upload their videos on topics apart from them ones which are on which we share our experiences right. and yeah that's basically what help is and yeah yeah, I mean, yeah, HELP is a program that's mostly targeted to students and, you know, yeah. um, even even workers as well, you know, some, some people come up and say, hey, you know, I'm having problems with my scheduling, I'm having problems with my digital skills, how can I improve? Is there a way to, is there a way for you to help me? And that's what HELP is there, it's literally called HELP, I mean, come on, yeah. you know, we're here to help people, we're here to allow them and direct them into their path in education and even their path in in life. I mean, come on, it's for life. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, let's get into that next all right. question. The Ooh. last one now. Oh. When do you think students should look into study skills, resources, or supports? When? Oh, when? Now. Do it now. Yeah. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Like, get it done. Yeah. You know, because it's so important. Students, even if you're in first year, even if you're in sixth sixth year secondary school look for it now because at the end of the day if you miss your decision you miss the train right yeah. and so I, I would say go get your resources as much as you can and we can find them in the help website here as well it's very important especially help guys yeah. it's literally called help where else can we find information well, yeah well there are other resources as well like college has loads of stuff around you they could like students could go to the SLL or they could go to the student union and even if they don't need any of them resources, at least they should be familiar with them as soon as they can say they're coming in first year. They they don't have to apply for like the bursary fund or the or the chaplaincy fund. Right. But like there there are situations where you know you need there are situations which are emergencies and you need like some money quick to just to get rid of some problem. Yeah. Then you can access them. But if you if you never came across them things, you wouldn't even know, and you'd be stressing out for no reason. Like, oh and gosh. if them things are available for, to you, like, what's the point of not accessing them? You know. That so I would say at least at least be familiar with them. If not, like, if you don't need them at the minute, but definitely be familiar with them as soon as they can. Like, because there I know there are workshops and they're like stalled almost every other week mm -hmm. in the atriums or in in the business buildings, like, just to kind of spread awareness about different types of things which are available to the students mm -hmm. and like it's surprising even in third year like even sometimes m me like I don't know what things are available for the students there are some things which are new and I was like oh dear I didn't even know that existed like mm -hmm. so and yeah and that you never know what can be helpful to you at any time so I'd say just at least get familiarized as soon as you can like so yeah no, that's that's awesome. Like I yeah. said, you're going deep today. You're going deep today. <laughs> no, that was so good. No, yeah. you no, you're right. You know, get you know. We have a lot of resources here, and a lot of students don't actually know that. Yeah. And so it's so important that you know we we find it out. We go yeah. search. Even the porter's office. I mean, it yeah. took me two years to find the porter's yeah. office. Yeah. It's that bad. Yeah. But. You know, it's very important that we know all these resources are available to us, and you know, not just oh. You know, because a lot of people are applying for it. I don't have to apply for it. Go apply for it. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you need it, you need it. If you need help, you need help. And so yeah. it's very important that you know your resources well and you yeah. find them when you need them. Okay. So I have a random, random question. But yeah. Okay. So in terms of studying, what is the best mode of studying? Is it group work? Is it 
alone is it you know in a quiet place or do you prefer a noisy place what would you say your preference of studying style is well i'd say that that would depend on the person studying like say if if there's an introvert studying in a group that would be chaos <laughs> I, mean, I mean imagine them focusing like yeah. but uh for me personally i would say well it changes for me as well like last last year i would study with music in my ears so that didn't uh, it didn't affect me if I was in a quiet place or in a noisy place as as far as I had some music playing like right. but now I can't study with any music oh. I have to be in a quiet place so it actually depends on the season the mood literally the however the the semester treats you oh. so <laughs> yeah it's 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 a very kind of a personal kind of choice to know yeah, but yeah, I would yeah. say just to focus Mm. There's nothing better than a quiet place. Yeah. For it. and but that's again that's a generalized yeah, yeah, yeah depend on people. But yeah. for me, a quiet place always works. Like the library. I know, right? Or a quiet room, yeah. <laughs> my bed. Yeah. I call the library my house because yeah. I'm here most of the time. Yeah. But um no, studying is so good. Mm. You know, I study personally with music on my ears mm. and I have noise counselors on. If you call me, I do not know you, don't talk to me. <laughs> Especially when you see me in the library, just yeah. ignore me because I won't answer you. Yeah. But um no, it's very good with the quiet environment. So yeah. I love coming down here as well, you know, just to have that silence and but sometimes you do hear that random noise of the yeah. chair moving the back going sh -sh 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 -sh. Yeah. but it's okay yeah no yeah. no but it's very good i personally would love music in my ears yeah. while studying but you're right now there's no music it's just mm. pure silence yeah. you need your, your brain to focus yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah. any more questions no, i'd say that's that's, that's fair really. yeah awesome that's, that's fair, yeah. yeah that's yeah. great well, thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you tune in once again for the next one. We're back soon for help. Bye-bye. SCTU underscore TLC. You can go find us there. Like and subscribe. I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so.